But ultimately, what we should be counting on. And then I appeal to the religious leaders, and I appeal to the youth, and I appeal to the organized labor group, is the issue of let our vote count. Don't allow these governors, don't allow these senators, don't allow this elite to decide who becomes the governor. Because when you allow them to decide, and how do they decide it, how do they do it? They come to meet you, they offer you money. Mm. They come to meet with your bishop. They come to meet with your... When you see your bishop with a strange uh, jeep vehicle, it's provided by government. And once you see your bishop, instead of talking right, he's talking left. Just take your own as, sense. As compromised. To, as, as compromised. <laughs> so don't listen to that bishop. Don't listen to that apostle. Don't listen to that imam. Listen to your conscience, and your conscience should decide who you should vote for. And this is the issues we want to put on the table. Because the reason, obviously, is that your bishop, once he collects money, it's not about you. He doesn't pray for you. He prays for his children and his wife. And so we begin to raise awareness. Instead of the bishop praying for you and your family, he's praying for his wife and his children. And because he has collected something. And that's why we are saying that once the elite, they get organized, it is the poor. What separates the elite and the poor in a do state today is poverty. Mm -hmm.